Yes, brothers and sisters, we have finally made it. We are finally back to another one, another reaction on this year, BR BBTV TV YouTube platform. Welcome to each and every single one of you guys who tuned into another vibrations, guys. I was actually gonna be doing a different kind of video, but I decided, hey guys, for Dinah today is the burial of uh, uh, a celebration, I should say, of the life of Fadina Frampton, and of course, I decided, hey guys, might as well get that vibrations on the road. I was not able to make it due to uh, unforeseen circumstances. Um, I was actually invited to come. Uh, by one of the individuals who was speaking but unfortunately I was not able to make that right there but we're gonna react to the vibrations of course I'll be posting the link in the description below so you guys can get that vibrations the full thing uninterrupted but of course let us get into that vibrations today right there don't forget guys give this video a thumbs up for Dinah of course may she rest in peace man <laughs> so guys I don't know if this is copyrighted so we wish to ex hold on. We wish to express it to calling this the family and friends condolence. Okay. The friends and stuff of Fadina. He really, he really gonna miss his sister, man. You can tell that, guys. I tell you this, this man. At one point in time, you spoke to your family members. Next time, they're gone, brothers and sisters. This is why you always have to cherish that moment. I know sometimes family members can be troublesome, boy. They trouble some brothers and sisters. But you know, sometimes you have to try your best to be there for your family when they need you, when they want something, when they call you, hey, what's up? What's good? What's going on? And sometimes when family members call, you don't want to answer the phone because you know they trouble some, but <laughs> sisters, you know, you want to ensure that you you get these memories in, man, you know. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing the brother right there, man. I, I share his sentiment. I still lost my pops. Um, Valkofi, big up Valkofi one time. Who's that lady? That lady is from India. Dion. Dion. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys. We don't want to. Yeah, it's a sad moment. Big up, um, big up, um, Shanis on that song, Miguel Henderson, a number of these individuals who wrote the song. I'm guessing these are the four individuals with the shirts. The Dinah here with the front on the head. The other people, I guess the blue shirt individuals are Flo. These are the family members right there. Feel, feel, okay, feel. Guys, this is a long video, so I have to skip it. Rest in peace for Dino, man. Rest in peace.
Yeah. One thing, Dominic has some really dope singers, you know. So man, that's a that's a fantastic song. And they are the, and they are the right person singing that song. as well, he was an ambassador or something of that sort, with the other four individuals. We say thank you to the... This is the president. Please stand for the arrival of the president of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Her Excellency, Silvani Burton and Burton. Mr. Burton. I'm trying to figure out her name. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's continue, guys. Really good, man. hospital situation. By likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. Hmm. On the day of her baptism, for thine and put on Christ. I hope so. Eh? In the day of Christ's coming, May she be clothed in glory. <coughs> Guys, I always often ask myself, why, why, it seems like the Catholics, they always believe that for some reason, you can somehow, you know, live your life probably as the worst person in the world or whatever, and they can somehow just pray you into heaven. I don't know, maybe it's just me that thinking that way. But every time you go to a Catholic funeral, there's always, you know, May her, may the may may the angels bring you to heaven and so forth. Maybe the angels just refuse to bring you heaven. I, I don't know, but I think how you live your life on earth, you must prepare, brothers and sisters. You must prepare yourself. Nobody can come and pray and say, "Oh, let's sing fifty Mary, Hail Mary, and Mary come to God." No, you have to trust the Most High. You must trust Him before the the Great Book says only one way. One way, brothers and sisters, and hopefully for that, I knew that one way right there, and that is for the Son, Yeshua, Yeshua, 
Jesus in English, right, dear brothers and sisters. One way, I remember I was having some discussions with the Muslims and talking about what the Muslim Bible spoke and, you know, on the basis, guys, and anyways, <laughs> the Muslim believed that Yeshua was, you know, a prophet and, you know, whatever the prophet says is word. If the Muslim Bible tells you this, and Jesus said this, Yeshua said this, is the only way to the Father, then that means, <laughs> you know. Well, of course. That was interesting. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I don't need to cry now. I think I've seen this girl before. Is she in a media? That's a nice setup right there. Is that a chef? Oh, I don't know. Ah, Sambo looks like a chef. It kind of looks like an apron, guys. Doesn't it look like an apron? And she has a, sh uh, a chef hat on her head. One thing, them cat the, the Catholic Church has some nice singing, you know, guys. When you're outside here in the choir singing, you always want to do those vibes. They have a nice singing, trust me. Partners, then. Big up one time. Mr. Burton, members of Cabinet, your servant for Dino, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Yep. A time to mourn and a time to dance. There's always a time, brothers and sisters. Always for the negative and for the positives of life. We need it, yin and yang, brothers and sisters. How do we know how to cherish life and cherish the individuals who are great to us and have been doing well to us, brothers and sisters? If we don't know what them passing away truly is. If everybody was just leaving, brothers and sisters, I think we'll take full advantage of each, each, each other. I think we'll definitely take full advantage of each other. And for the very lifespan that we have, that is just like a vapor. Brothers and sisters, we must make it count. Ah, the thought of delusion came to mind when people have all sorts of strange th theories and stuff in their head. And it does, is not applicable to reality at all. And they waste their lives just believing in delusions. Only to find out later on, years later, that what they once, you know, was not actually any sort of truth in reality at all. It's interesting. So we get the point. The time to do things, brothers and sisters. Big up the queen right there. Okay. Uh, Amen, sister. Break it on there. Move along, brothers and sisters. 
I saw this one. This was an interesting clip. Right there. So this guy seemed like he was doing something. And when he saw the camera. <laughs> the camera person just stop <laughs> I saw that <laughs> boy pretending like he wasn't doing nothing Anyways, guys, let's move on here eh? I think that was one of the closest friends a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans chapter 14 7 to 12 we do not believe to ourselves and we do not die to ourselves. Mm. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. I think that's how it should be. Some people live in like their seat. They, they from the zombie, <laughs> you know? So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. Well, the great book says some of all you are from the devil himself, you know. So I... I, I Hey, but I guess that is his theory. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, so that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. Why do you judge? Why do you pass judgment on your brother or sister? For you, why do you despise your brother or sister? Well, I, I think when people talk about judging and this kind of things, their brothers and sisters, like I said before, if you guys want, the link is in the description below. I'm reacting to the video, so I'll be stopping it from time to time. But if you're talking about judging, everybody judges brothers and sisters, whether you are vocal about it or you're not. There are people who say things, and I remember a particular person who always tell people they don't judge and whatnot. And then I had to check her and I say, hey, but look, you're doing the same thing you, you, you're telling people not to do. And then she said no, and then I had to break it down because she herself didn't even know is that she doing. I say, look, you are talking about this and talking about that about the person because you're thinking certain things, but you don't know the true depth and the meaning of, of why that person is reacting in that way and those kind of things there, but you are doing the very thing that you tell, you blaming others for doing. It's just that I think that some people are, are, are not aware that they are doing the same thing. But because they're not doing it like that person or they are vocal about it, they believe that, you know. So, yeah, anyways... Is the foundation of the world. Okay, guys. Yes, yes, sir. All right. Whole season just ended last Tuesday. <coughs> Let me see what this is a precise from Postmore, guys. Let me see what he's saying right there. The philosophy of many and most people today is have a good time and hmm. die. Yes, boy. Is that true? <laughs> Carnival. The civil season just ended Sea last Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And for many, the sea who has just started. Hmm. Yes, I. Sisters and brothers, we were born, or we were all born into this life, but it's clear we are not meant to be here forever. Facts. Facts. We are instructed in our first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 1 to 2, that life is a season mm -hmm. True. and everything has and the, time oh yes the span of life is divided brothers and sisters i don't think we understand what that, that what he just said eh, no? we don't understand you know brothers and sisters everything has a time a time brothers and sisters the greatest currency on this world 
is time. It's not money that you make, brothers and sisters. Some people waste their time trying to get monies, and when they finally get the monies, they don't have the energy to to actually utilize that monies. Just look at Dominica, brothers and sisters, on the basis when you see tourists coming in. Tourists coming in and the majority of individuals that you see traveling on buses trying to live their best life is the elderly folks, brothers and sisters, coming and ride little train, you know, bus train or whatever they call it, brothers and sisters, and they pull up there, some of them sleeping. Yes. I remember passing my coaster and then you passing and you see these people in the window and two of them sleeping on each other like this. I remember, brothers and sisters, so a lot of people waste time trying to get money so they can live life. On the basis of trying to live life, it is too late because they don't have the energy to do so. It is interesting how that cycle of life is, brothers and sisters. Very interesting indeed. Let's continue. We are told in that reading, it interplays within that season. And it is all about a time. Hmm. This season or time got a beginning and an end. And between the beginning and the end, everything else happens. Hmm. It begins with birth and, you the past. and it ends with death. And that is true for all of us. There is a beginning. And there is an end. What happens in between is up to us. We determine. Yep. It says in scripture that there is a time for giving birth and a time for dying. The season of life is such that while a person is living, another is coming. Hmm. Cycle but of while life. one is coming, Another is living. The funeral homes are filled with that. Hmm. Filled with those who are living, while the nursery is filled with those who are coming. And the funeral home is big business, you know, guys. Big business that they, you know. Remember how the funeral home back in the day was, brothers and sisters? And how it is now? Is it the kind of type of vehicles them for you? Big business. Let's continue. Well, the cycle there. of life is forever rotating from shift to shift. Church history has shown how God has never left the world without a witness. No matter how great the preacher is, no matter what great your, your leadership may be, no, no matter how great you may have achieved, but you are not here forever. Nope. So we are sure. not irreplaceable. I'm going to repeat that, church. I, I, I replaceable. I don't know what you say in there, sir. <laughs> I irreplaceable. Eh? One time when I got my. We are not irreplaceable. That's true. Only arrogant makes us feel that we'll never be replaced. Hmm. None of us are replaceable. There will always be someone. To create something new. Yeah, that's true. For Dinah's was given a season mm. in which she created. That's she invented. Right. She touched lives. Wake up, Anna. Wake up. And by the bare fact that she was who she was, she impacted many. She was innovative. She motivated many. She inspired many. But a season has come to an end that is something else we and it's interesting that a season was coming to an end brothers and sisters but she'd made a last voice note for which we know about talking about she is in recovery so by the time that she comes out i haven't heard the mo saying that she and and, and for were making plans to have discussions about checking on your loved ones and this kind of things there making plans brothers and sisters but apparently that plan was not fulfilled because she did not make it out. You know, during Carnival Calypso final, I was there of course and I love my Calypso. Oh. And I think Calypso is one of the best things in the world. True. Facts. And what I love about Calypso is 
the, the, the Calypso and the Calypso writers Lyrics. in one song gives an entire harmony. Oh yes, absolutely true. And as I view the show, and as so much was said about for Dino, and all she did, coordinator of the judges for the Calypso show, involvement in Queen show, and so much more that she did. Yeah, I remember in Queen show. But somebody has replaced her. Yeah. That's and the show continues. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. The giver of that life and the one who takes that life designed that our coming here has a clear purpose. Guys, I know can't lie here. Eh? Early on, I say I'm not irreplaceable, but I want to be irreplaceable, you guys. I want somebody to come in my stead and continue even to better than me, brothers and sisters. I think that is true the true impact of life when others are able to carry on. Because it's kind of like having leaders, brothers and sisters. Great leaders who are doing wonderful things. I'm not talking about the present one, eh, brothers, but great leaders, generally speaking, who are actually doing great things, brothers and sisters. And then for the next one to be replaced, that person has the time, that time is done, and for the other person, the new leader to come in and just literally screw up everything, brothers and sisters. That is not a good replacement, no? That is not a good um, replacement at all. That's a terrible one. So it's good to be replaced, but on the basis of elevation, brothers and sisters, instead of going backwards. Interesting words. We cannot words. come here by mistake, none of us. True. Oh, by chance. Mm -hmm. God designed and destined that we are to fulfill the purpose. Oh, you say, it, brother. You say you preaching, brother. You preaching right there. Purpose, brothers and sisters. There's a saying that goes: It is a heck of a thing for a human being to be born and die without knowing their purpose. But some people just living why? Some people just living life we with no purpose at all. They're just existing. When these people have the ability to do great things, they never ventured out. Oh, they never ventured out into actually utilizing their skills and abilities to bring forth their purpose in this world. And they die, brothers and sisters, pass away. This is one of the reasons why they always say that the grave is filled with great ideas. The place that is filled with great ideas is the grave. Because there are millions upon billions of people that never fulfill their purpose. Brothers and sisters, walking in this life, life is like a vapor. As short as, it is, as, short as, it, as, short as it is, that is the longest thing you can ever do is live, brothers and sisters. And to live the longest lifespan that you actually have. And not know your purpose. Oh, that is truly something else. For which we came here, and he will determine our departure. The purpose of our life is far greater than our personal fulfillment, true peace of mind, or even see, our happiness. And mm. we see that in the life of Fodino. Ah, I like the fact that he said that, brothers and sisters. The purpose is overshadowing or should overshadow even your happiness. Sometimes people think their purpose in life is to be happy. This is a modern concept, you know, brothers and sisters, especially if you're looking for things like in marriage and this kind of things. Eh? People believe that marriage is a spawn of happiness. Just like they believe marriage is a spawn of love. No, that's not the case, brothers and sisters. It's the unification of Especially when people talk about love and real love, brothers and sisters. You know how painful real love can be? To love somebody, brothers and sisters, and that person keeps hurting you over and over and over. That is love. And you try your best to help that person. Ah, brothers and sisters. Marriage is about duty and coming together and working and in turn, hopefully, a byproduct of being that of happiness. Doing your job and fulfilling your purpose. Sometimes the purpose that you are going to fulfill is not necessarily a happy one, but the fact that you are doing and fulfilling your purpose is a byproduct. Happiness is a byproduct of that. Some people just want to feel, oh, it's Teletubby happiness. Oh, flying like Teletubby. 
Lala and Po and whatever is their name, Tinky Binky, and some kind of funny names they give this thing. But life is not about happiness. A purpose, your fulfillment should not be happiness, brothers and sisters. It should be purpose driven. Because our lives here on earth is to impact others to be better. But people are so self centered. Oh, my purpose is I want happiness. Me, 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 me. Nothing wrong with happiness. Wanting happiness, you know, brothers and sisters. But I believe, according to what he said, that purpose fulfills that and more. A mere 49 years. But she has okay. so much. And she was so selfless that in all she did, it was for the other. Mm. You know, church, the joy of living life is to live life for the other. Purpose. That is true happiness right there. That is a fact. He's stating pure facts, brothers and sisters. Pure facts. Because that's what Jesus did. Mm -hmm. Jesus gave his life for us. And so mankind still rejecting that and making up all sorts of strange philosophies. But one day, they will know the truth. We too can have life. Therefore, we were born by God's purpose and for His purpose. We were not born to live life selfishly. Ah, yes. That's why we are social beings. We are social beings in need of each other. This is why I always tell, yeah, and people say, oh, it's me, 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 me. No, brothers and sisters, you will suffer as a result of loneliness. There has never been no one in the history of the world who has been by themselves and happy. Look at the kind of craziness that tends to go on when it comes on to, to all, the, all the different kind of ampelle things that goes on in schools and, and, and people hurting each other. They were, most of you at, at their thing, most of them were lonely. And as a result of not being able to properly socialize and, and, and get that vibe from people. Brothers and sisters, what did you think? Oh, an example came. Uh, so there was this student who came down to Dominica and... Uh, you know, he was vibes in the first, he liked all vibes and everything like that. And the parents came down and met him and he he he, he find that he was really he was different, kind of different. He was more enjoying life and they're taking what? So you know what they did? They brought their son. The son was I think 16 or 17 years old. And they brought down their son to Dominica. The next time they came down, they brought him down and they made that boy stay with his brother. So that the so that Ladika boy can get the kind of vibes and they notice the change in that boy. That was a boy that was going on the wrong path, brothers and sisters. And they brought the boy for us. And we helped the boy understand things and under he was not that social like before. There's another situation I can think of. Uh, some of the doctors have have little um, and leave their brought their children to Ross. And some of these young folks used to come and, and sit and um, um, hang out with us. They were what, 13, 14. I can think of one particular one. And he was not a social guy at all. The boy was always by himself and things. So his parents, you know, um, um, they were the professors and stuff. So the parents, you know, while he used to mingle in the simulation department, when they come and stuff, he used to come by and sit down and chill. So I used to talk to the boy and vibes with the boy. Right now, the boy is a weatherman in the United States. On TV, the man be, and I watch, I, I looking at the boy there, and I watching how the boy was before. But the sisters, socializing is a very important aspect to growing up. But you also need the right set of people. Because you can get down in the wrong, oh, brothers and sisters, ha, stop, I think it's poetry. Let's continue, brothers and sisters. Bochi, are going on there? Okay, guys, I think I got it back right there. We were born by God's purpose. purpose. And for his purpose, we were not born to live life selfishly. Yeah. It is God who directs the lives of creatures. Everyone's life is in his power. Mm. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. To understand our purpose, church, in this life, we must begin and start with God, our creator. We exist only because God wills mm -hmm. that we, we exist. 
and it was made by God and for God. And until we understand that, life will never make sense. True. Facts. Bear facts, brothers and sisters. Facts. Facts are only man talking there so far. Eh? Big up. More so death. Let me bring that back. And it was made by God and for God. Mm -hmm. And until we understand that, life will never, never. make sense. Ah. More so death. Yep. To understand death Most understand it. is to understand life. Yeah. To understand life. Church. Is to understand death. We are not here forever. True. No matter how hard you try to hold on to life. Reminds me of people like Steve Jobs and a number of the rich folks, brothers and sisters. Who tried their best to stay. Steve Stephen Hawkins was, I think he was Stephen Hawkins, if I have the name correct. Um, one of the guy who was crippled and stuff was trying to when he passed on for his brain to be put into a machine and hopefully come back and all those kind of things there. I believe they were trying to do. But he's gone now. Life does not belong to us. Mm. Psalm 8, verse 4 asks the question. What is man or human beings that you spare life. thought of them? Mm -hmm. Mortal man who is here today mm. and going tomorrow. Oh yes, like a vapor. Like a vapor gone to God has no regard today. for age. He gives us the time alone <coughs> for us, and he calls us when he is ready for us. I also believe that people die before their time. Eh? People go before their time, brothers and sisters. Paul in Romans chapter four. 79 reminds us that none of us lives as his own master. Church, I want to repeat that. None of us lives as his own master. As you say in that day, I think of, 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 of society where people believe that, hey, okay, I was go to school, get a job, work, see if I can make money, try to go on vacation from time to time. And we believe that that is our freedom. We believe in our heart of hearts, brothers and sisters, that that is where we truly get in freedom from not realizing that we are like a little mice running on a cage. Just keep on running, 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 working for things that have no real value at all. To try to obtain something with real value. It's interesting. We work in our lives to make money. Money has no real value. It has applied value, but no real value at all. And we try to get this money so we can take our family on vacation to so have memorable time that is actually valuable. It's interesting when you look at it, brothers and sisters. Very, very interesting indeed. We don't want things. We're not in charge. Ah. <laughs> yes, sir. Bring that back. We don't want things. That's his own master. Say it again, bro. We don't want things. We don't want things. We're not in charge. We're not in charge. Ah. Amen. God is in charge. <laughs> Amen, bro. Amen. Let me bring that back. We do one thing. Mm -hmm. We're not in charge. Amen, brother. God Amen. is in charge. Amen, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only God is in charge. Amen, brother. While we live, we are told by Paul, we are responsible to the Lord. And when we die, we die as his servants. So that both in life and in death, we are the Lord's. And that is true of what I know. Well, I don't think everybody working for the Lord, no? But... But in life, the Fodina we all knew in life, she belonged to the Lord. And what remains of Fodina will go back to the earth. And on day of resurrection, she go back to where she came from. We are confident and convinced that the beauty and joy of Fodina is the assurance that she is with God in life and in death. We are the Lord's. Well, the only way you can become the Lord's own brothers and sisters is when accepting his son. Oh, that is holy. His son, so you can live nice and all these kind of things, brothers and sisters. And one of the things that, as my advocate in this library, brothers and sisters, enjoy life to the maximum. 
enjoy life to the maximum brothers and sisters in this land that we live in with all the struggles that it has enjoy life to the maximum but prepare ah that is the root here prepare brothers and sisters to meet your maker and the only way you can prepare is through the sun that is what the great book say not me you know that say that all right then the assurance further affirmed in first Corinthians. you man just would boy you man just something else boy Paul. Five, one to chapter five verse one and six to ten that for diana's mortal remain is that tent as paul tells us ten for the we scene. know that when the earthly tent in which we dwell in the heavens not made by hands but to last forever brothers and sisters in science there's something called uh, the um um dna is it dna this is the cell the cell it is brothers and sisters our makeup electrons neutrons something like that sort the energy realm brothers and sisters if you look at the cell the cell itself is about 0.00001 percent physical that physical thing makes up what you see here brothers and sisters that physical weak some people try to put makeup and all sorts of, i think i'll stop the brothers and sisters i'll post this link in the description below you get the point already I saw Mikael Anderson, so I think I'll drop to Mikael. But this physical thing that we see in brothers and sisters, people put everything on that physical thing. Forgetting the energy realm that is within. Brothers and sisters, you can go to the cell, you know, and you will look at and go down to the very little element of it and realize what makes up the cell. The neutrons, protons and neutrons is electronical things that make up the physical component that you see. And man telling me they rather focus on that 0.000001% of that physical thing that they can see and completely forgetting the 99.999% of who they truly are. But in sisters, one of the things that we can understand what happened back in the day, because back in the day, man was more focused on the spiritual realm than the physical. This is one of the reasons why they say Africa is the most spiritual place on planet Earth. But I myself, I go into deep, brothers and sisters. I go into deep. Humans, boy. Anyways, I saw Mikael. You guys can always continue listening to the rest. So look, Mikael, there. Spent all of time waiting for that second chance. So great that we make it okay. And it's hard at the end of the day. I need some. Life and brothers and sisters. I'm sure she I'm sure she thought that she was gonna be here today. Call me the 
Guys, give this video a thumbs up for for Dina. Give this video a thumbs up for for the 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 priest. Uh, priest definitely spoke facts right there, no doubt about it. Brothers and sisters, I think anytime there's this kind of situation happening, we need to do some introspection of self, brothers and sisters, to make sure that when we leave this world, we are prepared for it. It's about Mr. Lex on this year, BRBPTV. Me for Dina Frampton. Rest in peace. Be real, brothers and sisters. Be positive.